Okay, you plan to have a cookout, huh? Now what to make? How about some homemade potato salad? It's a whole lot better than what you get in the store, and it's super simple to make. We're going to come right back and get this thing going. Come on along. You're going to love it. If you like this recipe, hey, check out all the other recipes on the channel. Hit that subscribe button, smash that notification button, like and share it with all your friends, and as always, we greatly appreciate it. Potato salad is really simple to make. Main ingredient right here, potatoes. So, you're going to have to decide really how much you need to make. It's all going to depend on how many people you have to feed. Uh, rule of thumb, probably a potato or a potato and a half per person, plenty. Always better have a little bit left over. Of course, this tastes so good, they might just eat it all. So, then you're going to need an onion. So, I'm going to get to peeling these potatoes. Okay, we have one onion, and we'll go ahead and peel that onion. This goes into the trash. It is time to cut up our potatoes. Now, there's only two of us, and I said potato and a half, and you can see that one don't even count. That's a little tiny one. <coughs> so we have... I guess a little over five potatoes, but we really like this potato salad, and I guarantee you we'll have it eaten by the middle of the week. So, now I will say that I like my potato salad. I don't know. I like it. Uh, I don't know. A little mushy, you would say, a little bit like mashed potatoes with with chunks in it. So, I'm just gonna dice these things up real quick. Don't worry about uh, making them all the same size because we're going to let these things boil down for, you know, probably 45 minutes or an hour because, like I said, I really like to overboil my potatoes for my potato salad. That'll be something you'll have to experiment around with, figure out where you like it. Okay, throw that in there. All right, I'm going to fill that pot with water. Oh, probably it's about three quarters. I'm going to bring it to a boil and I'm going to let those simmer, like I said, for 45 minutes or an hour. And uh, we'll come back in and check on these here in just a little bit. Got a hard boil going on. Probably took them 10 or 15 minutes to start that. You just occasionally want to come through and just give them a stir, make sure they're not sticking. And other than that, that's all we're going to do. Probably for the next 45 minutes or so, we're going to do that and keep checking them. And if it takes an hour, it'll take an hour. Make sure that you do this far enough ahead of time because you have to drain these and put them back in the fridge and let them cool off. So, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, these things just came off. They've been on right at 48, 49 minutes. Fork tender. Or they were. <laughs> I wasn't able. I've been poking them, and but anyway, they're soft enough. Now, if I could just find my strainer, I don't know what I did with it. Have you seen the strainer? I just had it in my hand. 
Have you seen it? The one on your head. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right, you're going to need one of these. Makes life a whole lot easier. And I'm just going to take, I'm going to pour that over into there real quick. Ooh, those handles are a little warm. Mm -hmm. Then, get a little shake and bake. And I'm going to let that sit right there for 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'll transfer it over into a bowl and I'm going to put it in the fridge. Now, my advice to you when you make this, if, if you want to boil your potatoes and get everything ready the night before, don't do any of the seasoning, adding the mayonnaise or the mustard or any of the seasonings until right before you're ready to serve it or right before you're ready to take it where it's going to be served. So that being said, we'll see you here in just a little while. It's going to be a couple hours. We're going to let this cool off in the fridge really good. So we'll come back when it's time to season this stuff up. It's time to season up this potato salad. You know, I used to go crazy and put all this different stuff in it. And uh, I think the only thing I don't have out right here is going to be some paprika to sprinkle on the top at the end. But, uh, I mean, yeah, you can all do that. The uh, main ingredients in this is going to be real mayonnaise, which I have Dukes, but get real mayonnaise. You're going to need some uh, prepared mustard with just hot dog mustard. Celery seed, black pepper, some seasoning salt. I'm using Lowry's it's everywhere and then a little bit of garlic powder so now to give you an exact amount on this would be kind of impossible because I don't know how much potato salad that you're going to make but uh, you just kind of want to do it until I mean this is one of those ones that you kind of need to test and and see but where you're at seasoning wise but I mean, mayonnaise is going to be a lot of it. Mustard, probably not a whole lot. I'm going to say that much. Probably a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon. Celery seed. Man, this stuff here, if you ever make potato salad and you're looking for that flavor that you just can't put your finger on, it's celery seed. Put some of that in there. I'm going to say teaspoon, half a teaspoon. But like I said, the measurements really, it's going to depend. If you make twice as much potato salad, you're going to have to put twice as much seasoning into it. So that was our garlic. I'm going to put in our black pepper. And then here's our seasoning salt. And then we're going to give it a stir. Now it really helps if you use a a little bit bigger bowl than what you really need here because if not you're going to be making a mess because I'm going to serve it in a like if you were going to serve this you'd want to serve it in a bowl this size because it'll be heaping but you don't, really don't want to sit and try to stir all this up in that little bowl because it's going to go everywhere yes it goes about the same maybe If you want to use more mustard in yours, that's fine. If you want to put dill pickles or something in it, that's fine. It's all it's all about your taste. But this makes a, uh, a really great potato salad. And it's really simple to do. So, let's take a little taste and see what we need. I'm saying a little bit more of the seasoning salt. Probably just a little bit more of our celery seed. I think maybe just a little bit more mustard. That mustard is going to give it kind of a wangy, vinegary taste. A 
have to work pretty close this time. Spoon. Mm. That's it. That's good. So I'm telling you, don't overcomplicate your potato salad. Really simple. Just a few ingredients, and you'll be surprised at what you can make. So, till next time, keep smoking.